How you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP. It's currently the 5th of June, 2022. So today I wanted to do something vastly different, you know, from the previous video where I was discussing the negativity that surrounds cryptocurrency, those that are trying to regulate it, those that are trying to stop it from becoming, you know, a mainstream uh, push out into the world so we can take advantage of these technologies, you know, and obviously have more control over our funds, okay, which is obviously a very scary thing. And this is part of the reason why there is a huge push to stop cryptocurrency from becoming more mainstream, because they can't control it. This is the problem. Okay, so moving forward, I wanted to discuss this article. The link to this article is in the description below. Um, and I suggest everybody take some time to just go through this article It is a fantastic article. And it really brings some light on cryptocurrency as a whole. And Bitcoin has already been used throughout the world as far back as 2016. Again, something that not a lot of people are aware of. It's very easy to see this kind of negative narrative as being the only narrative out there. But the reality is there's plenty of people out there that are pushing and going out of their way to make sure that the positivity are, you know, surrounding cryptocurrency and its use is pushed into the light. So top 10 cities that are hotspots for crypto payments. I really like the way that this article starts. There is no greater delight for many crypto enthusiasts than to see the real world application of the boundless possibilities that come with crypto adoption. Truth be told, there is a thrill in knowing that Bitcoin is here to, here to stay and that despite the many hurdles along the way, the world will eventually fully embrace the use of crypto. Okay, so let's just have a little scroll down and we see number 10, Lisbon, Portugal. If you are headed to Europe, with a digital wallet filled with cryptocurrency, then Portugal is the place to be. Arguably one of the most Bitcoin friendly countries on the continent. Portugal has no specific regulation in place for crypto. This may scare some people, but the reality is we know cryptocurrency, sorry, we know cryptocurrency regulation is coming. Just while I pause for a second. We know cryptocurrency regulation is coming. But what that regulation looks like in, you know, uh, the, the various countries around the world will become more apparent as time goes by and as these regulations, legislations, you know, and compliance policies are put in place. Okay. So this is something we need to be aware of. But to go back to what I was reading, Portugal has no specific regulation in place for crypto, enabling businesses and individuals to transact cryptocurrency based on personal preference. Okay. They're giving, they're given a choice. Okay. And then notably the crypto friendly country views cryptocurrencies as a form of payment rather than assets. This is very important. Hence why there are no taxes on crypto transactions in the country. As a result, many have hailed Portugal as a crypto tax haven with individuals and businesses alike taking advantage of the opportunity. This is something that we want to see. People being able to use cryptocurrency in a way that they feel works for them. Okay. We're not talking about evading taxes. We're not talking about hiding money. We're talking about being able to use the funds that we've worked very hard for in a way that we want to use those funds. Okay. So if we just scroll down a little bit to Paris, number nine, uh, Paris, widely considered one of the most romantic cities in the world, was one of the first in the region to start flirting with crypto payments. And this is this is the interesting part. In November 2016, 25 shops in Passage du Grand Serre, a, a hotspot for tourists, announced that they would start accepting payments in Bitcoin. So this is as far back as 2016, something that I guess most of us weren't even aware of. OK, Bitcoin has been tested throughout the world for many, many years to see whether it's a viable, um, it, you know, to see whether it's a viable currency to use on a daily basis. We know cryptocurrency is volatile. We know Bitcoin is volatile, but ultimately the tests have been done throughout time, throughout the years. And this is something that we need to, you know, to start to become aware of and to push out there in a positive way. This ultimately marked the beginning of mainstream adoption in the city. Fast forward to today and a wide range of businesses in Paris now officially support crypto payments. Again, absolutely phenomenal and definitely something that we want to continue seeing throughout the globe. Prague. Prague is known for its old town square, the heart of this historic core and has earned its spot in this list by virtue of the numerous Bitcoin vendors available there. So we're starting to see the same narrative, you know, being 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 told in this article that there are many countries around the world, some solid countries as well. We're not talking about, 
and forgive me for, you know, for if this, I don't mean no disrespect when I say this, but we're not talking about a city in the middle of a desert, for example, or somewhere where you would never expect to see cryptocurrency. We're talking about, you know, countries like, for example, London, France, Portugal, big European countries that have many businesses, many merchants, okay, adopting cryptocurrency as a payment so people can go in and they can engage with these, you know, merchants and actually buy goods with cryptocurrency. Stark contrast to what I was talking about yesterday with the doom and gloom and the apparent we have to get rid of cryptocurrency now narrative, yeah, which is absolutely absurd, right? So London, London, the capital of the United Kingdom, and home to over 8 million people is another well-known crypto payments hotspot. Not many people know this, but there is no doubt that London is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. So it was only a matter of time until cryptocurrency gained traction as a preferred means of payment for tourists. So tourists can come to London. And you see here, currently the capital home to the Queen offers over 550 crypto-friendly businesses and nearly 100 operational Bitcoin ATMs. Again, many people are not aware of this. We don't have to live in the country to be aware that these things are actually in play and that you can use Bitcoin in the way that it's being described in this article. We only have to go and find these articles and focus on these articles, not the negative ones, not the ones that are trying to push this narrative of it's doom and gloom and we need to get rid of cryptocurrency. Vancouver in Canada. This one surprised me, to be honest. Uh, in the heart of Canada, we find another crypto hotspot gem. Unlike some of the other entities on the list so far, sorry, entries on the list so far, Vancouver has been actively working to embrace virtual currencies and is famous for the installation of the first operational Bitcoin ATM. This is absolutely fantastic. 700,000 people um, were home to the infamous now defunct crypto exchange, uh, Quad. Quadriga, sorry, Quadriga uh, CX, which reportedly bailed uh, with client funds worth over 180 million. The reason I'm reading this is because for those of you that are not aware of Quadriga uh, CX, the, the guy that founded this uh, exchange, he basically died apparently with the keys and, you know, hundreds of, like, it was a lot of money. A lot of money was basically um, lost. Um, there's some mystery surrounding his death. A lot of people lost a lot of money. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, articles out there and it's actually a Netflix article. Um, sorry, a Netflix, um, uh, documentary regarding this, uh, very thing. Uh, and I would suggest everybody go and watch that Netflix, uh, documentary because it's amazing. But the problem is when we see things like this, you know, that are happening around the world to such a huge degree, even as recent right now as the lunar uh, catastrophe that happened, you know, with, um, you know, lunar and, and terror and so on. Things like this taint the space and it creates this kind of fear that simply doesn't need to be there because as we go through this article, you know, and I'm going to kind of wrap it up because it is getting a bit a bit long, but as we continue through this article, we see that there's so much positivity and that cryptocurrency is already being used in real world, you know, real world applications, um, not just a little bit, it's actually quite a lot, you know, Amsterdam, New York, New York of all places, I would never expect in New York, right, for there to be places where you can use cryptocurrency, right, Madrid, San Francisco, uh, and obviously El Salvador, which we know, you know, El, you know, El Salvador uh, has Bitcoin as its legal tender over there now and so on. So I wanted to just kind of start the video and we'll just quickly go over some analysis very briefly um, with a very positive spin on what I was talking about yesterday. I wanted to kind of flip the switch and really talk about the positivity about cryptocurrency and its mainstream adoption and its wide adoption, right, that will continue to grow throughout the globe as we in this space continue to engage in it positively and to push this message out there, you know, as much as we possibly can. So let's just go over to Bitcoin very briefly. Uh, I'll do a more in-depth analysis tomorrow. It is Sunday at the moment. It's very unlikely we're going to see much more movement. Uh, but you can see uh, last week's candle effectively was up pretty strong and then it's just pretty much reversed. We go down to the daily and we can see that little bit of a pop just here. This is a key level at the moment right now, around about sort of 29,000 ish. We really need to see price stabilize here. If it goes from here, then we are very likely to see 34 to 35,000. If it doesn't, then it's likely that we go below this low, as I said previously, and hit, you know, 28,000, maybe sub 28,000. Okay. So I'm going to stick to Bitcoin. I'm not going to do too much analysis because the video is getting a little bit long. And with all of that said, I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day or evening 
wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you in the next update. All the best, guys. Take care and ciao for now.